And speaking of money, checking your insurance policy should always be on your hurricane prep list this year. As Taking Action reporter Jackie Calloway explains, what your insurance company doesn't know about could wind up costing you. Thinking about that night and reliving it, it's just it's terrifying. Adam Taylor and his family were asleep when a golf cart battery in his garage sparked a fire last September. And then there was smoke coming through all throughout the house and all throughout the AC and all the ductwork. It was get the kids, get them out, nothing else matters. The Taylors made it out of the home safely, but the fire caused hundreds of thousands of dollars in damages. I lost all the cars and in the house we had to replace all the ACs. Insurance covered everything because their policy included replacement value versus cash value of their belongings. If you could turn the house upside down and empty everything out of it, that's your personal property. Veteran travel agent Daryl Patrick points out cash value only covers the current value of, say, your 10-year-old stove. And he advises using your cell phone to make a video recording of everything you own. Basically, walk through your house, room to room, given a description of the items that are in there. And if you happen to know the value of that description, just mention along with it. All of your property coverages, including hurricane and non-hurricane deductibles, are laid out in your declaration page. So you can see here they have a $2,500 all other peril deductible and then a $9,000 hurricane deductible. The hurricane deductible is always the larger deductible. And for condo owners, there's more to consider than just the contents of your unit, such as assessment coverage. Because you could be assessed by your condo association if something were to happen during a hurricane. And don't forget to make sure everything outside the home is covered as well. During the pandemic, thousands of Florida homeowners added pool enclosures and solar panels to their home, none of which are covered in a typical policy. If you've got a screen enclosure, many carriers don't cover that. It's an additional endorsement you have to add. Looking back six months after his house caught fire, Adam Taylor credits his own insurance agent for making sure he had the right amount of coverage in the event disaster struck. Had I not had the right coverage, I mean, that could have been devastating financially. And you want to make sure you're not overinsured. You can take a look at how much your policy is worth and compare that to what your home is valued at on the county property appraiser site and shop around. There are multiple companies writing homeowners insurance in Florida. You can also ask your agent to consider lifting your deductible. If you can afford it, that will lower your premium. I'm Jackie Calloway taking action for you.